the hell? Oh, hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sukoden, brought to you by GameAnyone.com, and we gotta hurry, because we got a lot to do in this episode and not much time to do it. Actually, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, we got all the time in the world, so, but whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in no hurry to finish this game, what the hell, man? But yeah, basically what we're gonna be doing in this episode is going around this region, going into each location. Now, you might be asking, why are we going to go into e each location? Well, because, yeah, most of the places you can't do anything right now, but... I'm doing this mainly to get into battle so I can try to get the, uh, the Nameless Urn from the Holly Fairies, but also so that we can get to each location. After you do that, you can actually teleport to each location for when you need to go there so you don't have to walk there later. So, yeah, there's the Fisherman attack, by the way. Very powerful attack. Of course, it unbalances both Taiho and Yamku, but yeah, it's very powerful. So, it's very nice. It's probably one of the better Unite attacks. I'm not going to say it's the best, because it does unbalance both of them, which kind of sucks. But, um, yeah, but as you can see, Yam Yamku is being an experience for right now, but it's, that's just the way it is. So, let's come down this way. Do. We got a very awesome place. This is Sonier Prison. That's right. We'll be coming here later. Hey guys, what's up? This is Sonier Prison. Enemies of the Empire get thrown in here. Oh really? I guess that'd be me then, right? It may be just a rumor, but they say there's a monster at the bottom of the dungeon. It's not the ancient jelly, is it? Some guy is supposed to have gotten an opal from this creature. The opal, yeah. More on that later. No one may pass without General Millick's permission. Well, I guess we're kind of screwed here, so let's move on. We got more places to make pit stops at, you know? Do, 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 do. Come this way. And uh, we got a place over here. And a battle. Oh, good Holly Fairy, yes. We need the Nameless Urn. Come on, it's, it's, it's not even your rarest drop. We've actually, we actually got your rarest drop in the last episode, so come on. Seriously. Stop trolling me. Give me your damn Nameless Urn so we can go and get, a uh, Jabba. Alright, so come here. This is Lorimar. It's kind of the checkpoint to take you into the southern region, which we, we won't be going for quite a while, but we will be going there eventually. It's one of my favorite parts of the game, actually. But here's Scarletitia Castle. Might as well go here. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, check that out. That would be the poisonous pollen. Hey, this pollen is weird. <laughs> really? Tyr, we'd better retreat for now. Yeah, not much we can do. Can't you just use the fire rune to burn the plant? I mean, come on. Ah, oh, well, whatever. Let's go this way. Yeah, the town of Anti is over here, but we're not going to go there yet. That's the last place we're going to go. Cause we want to go up here. Right up here. And, uh, we got a mad ivy. I don't know why ivy's so mad. I mean... She's featured pretty nicely in this whole Caliber series. I don't know why she's going to be all mad all the time. And turned into a plant in this game. It's kind of weird, but... Nonetheless, we're going to keep on moving. And we're going to gain some levels here with two fishermen, basically. Yeah. So let's go here. This is the northern checkpoint. It, it, it actually takes you to the area of uh, Kazim Hazel, actually. No one is permitted to travel north beyond this point. Yeah, it's gonna be a while before we get here. The city state of Jowston is just ahead, but the border is closed to the general public. Yeah, we can't go to the city state of Jowston. Not until Sukoden 2. Because that's pretty much where that game takes place, so. Yeah. So we're not going there in this game. So. So. Sorry to get your hopes up, but that's the way it is. But we have one more place to go before we go to the town. That's right here, but first let's try and get into a battle first. Maybe we can get the Nameless Urn. Probably gonna have to end up getting it off screen, because sometimes it appears right away, sometimes it, it just does not want to appear at all. It's, it can be kind of annoying like that. You know? That's just, uh, 
That's just the way it is, man. You can't really do nothing about it. You just gotta grin and bear it, basically. Yay for magic. Deadly fingertips. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That attack's not really that powerful. It's just kind of a, you know, a standard single lightning attack. It's not really meant to hurt that much. Kind of like a flaming arrow. Alrighty then. Alright, so now let's go into the next area. Which leads to the Den of the Dragons Den. Of course, we can't go into it just yet, but... So when we go in here, prepare to hear some of the most epic music ever. Oh yeah. I'll just listen to this for a little bit. Awesome. Beyond this point is the domain of the Knights of the Dragon's Den, as designated by the Emperor. No one is permitted to enter. Yeah, well, we'll be going there much later on. Alright, so, only thing left to do now is go to the town of Anti, where there are some recruitable characters. Some good ones, too. Oh, hell yeah. Quit fighting Mad I was we, we still got a one more enemy to encounter here, and we still gotta get the nameless urn. Come on, man. What are you doing? Don't be giving me mad ivies. Come on. It's not cool. So we'll just do a little deadly fingertips. I want one of these. That's just pure death by lightning. No matter how you look at it. Oh yeah, and then the fisherman attack for the win. Nice. You know what I mean? Seriously, it's crazy. Alrighty then, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Well, I guess uh, we should go in here, but... Well, let's try and get in one more battle real quick. Maybe we will strike oil and uh, get the Nameless Urn, wouldn't that be nice? Ooh, ah, there's the Creeper. He is a classic Sukoden enemy. He appears in most Sukoden games. And you gotta love his attack, but maybe he'll do it here. Not that attack. That attack's boring, come on. He has another attack where he basically uh, swallows up a character, damaging them three separate times for quite a bit of damage. Usually dealing around 150 or more. So, yeah, it's pretty powerful, but it, I know, it's kind of cool. I've, I've always enjoyed it, actually. So that's the creeper for you. So, yeah. Alright, well, I guess we'll check out Anti for now. Damn it, come on. Are you trolling me for a nameless urn? So this is Anti. Ante, Anti, whatever. You've got to be kidding. This town is called Ante. How dare you change it to some stupid name? You can tell that asshole. So here's Clone. Hi, welcome to... Er... What was it? Oh yeah, Beer Blanche. He is the most important character you will ever recruit, I guarantee it. And you'll see why a little later. But yeah. Master Millic's Scarletitia Castle is very well defended. Yeah, I I've seen it. As long as he has those poisonous flowers, the place will be untouchable by the Liberation Army. Yes, that's sad, but it's true. But come in here, and we have a very, in in very interesting bastard named Chapman. Welcome. Pick and choose whatever you like. But if you don't have any money, forget it. Say, don't I know you? You're Tyr, leader of the Liberation Army. My name's Chapman. I may be just the owner of this sorry joint, but I've still got a lot of heart. So please, let me join the Liberation Army. I can't stand being just a bystander anymore. Recruit him, of course. Gee, thanks. Let me be in charge of stocking Master Tear's armor. So we now have a freaking armor shop. Yes! We're coming along, but make sure you come back in here so you can get the inventory here. Plus, we can upgrade our equipment here. Especially Yamku. He really needs it bad. <laughs> but yeah, ooh, Headgear, very nice. That's a definite upgrade you want to get on everybody. Most characters can equip headgear. There are a few that can't for some reason, but... 
Yeah. I don't know why, that's just the way it is, but yeah, it's better than the half helmet, so that's uh, definitely good. But yeah, we are going to be spending quite a bit of money here, so hopefully you came here with some cash, otherwise, uh, yeah, it's not going to be good. Now let's sell this, because they got some good armor here. They have the ninja suit, which I think every character can equip. There may, there may be a few characters that can, but at least most characters can. It's expensive. It's 22,000, but has really good defense and a speed bonus, which is always a good thing. So, equip it on everybody, if you've got the cash. If you don't, well, then go and fight, or go, or go play Gasper, you know? Whatever you gotta do. Because it will come in handy, and, and it will be good for quite a while. So, I'd say it's definitely worth the money. You know what I mean? Alright, there we go. Yay, our defense is finally starting to not completely suck. It's good to know. You know what I mean? So off that nonsense, and I believe they have guard rings here. Which I think is one of the best accessories that you can actually buy. Yeah. I mean, there are better accessories in the game, but I think it may be one of the best accessories that you can actually purchase at a shop. If I'm thinking right. Maybe I'm thinking I'm Sukoden too. I don't know. Whatever. But yeah, put two guard rings on everybody, except for Tyr. You don't want to do that j just yet. Because if you remember, I told you several episodes ago about the toe shoes, that we were going to need them to recruit a character. Well, this is where you need them. So keep a pair of toe shoes on Tyr for now. I'm going to go ahead and buy it two guard rings for him, and then we'll equip it later, but... Yeah. Because there is a character here that you can't recruit unless Tyr is wearing a pair of toe shoes. You know, that's, uh... That's just the way it is, man. You know what I'm saying? I've never worn toe shoes. They, they just look like they'd be very uncomfortable. I don't know, man. You know, kind of like high heels or something. But I would know nothing about that, regardless of what anybody might tell you. You know what I'm saying? Alrighty then. Let's see what else is going on here. We all got together and marched to the castle to complain about the town's name. But as we neared it, my god. Yeah. I know, man, it's crazy. There's a weird, weirdly positioned item shop. I got nothing. Mega Medicine is fine, I guess. Get some flick. And get ready when you come into here. Because for the first time, we see Jean. Or Jean. I've always called her Jean. Welcome to Jean's shop. Are you here on business? And you definitely want to recruit her. I think you need 45 recruits to recruit her. Something like that. Which I believe we have. Liberation Army could be fun. I'll join. So that's Jean. She's probably, like, the hottest character in the history of Sukoden, basically. <laughs> and she's in, uh, every Sukoden, just like Vicky. Oh, welcome. I've become the owner of this place. Apparently, the previous owner suddenly disappeared. Yeah. She joined my army. So we now have a rune mistress. We have an armor. We got an item merchant, you know, good stuff. This here urn I got from the Holly's owner. I can't seem to get it appraised anywhere. What a pain in the neck. Dude, you're just, like, taunting me now, I'm telling you. I'll tell you a secret. This is actually Ante. East of here is the town of Tian. And you'll find the village of Recon due south. Yeah. And? What's your point, little girl? Come into here, but there's nothing here. But we'll be back here later. Something will be going down in here. Yeah, let's come down here, and there's a pretty unique person in here. This is Kimberly. Who do you think you are, barging in my workplace? Liberation Army? Oh, yeah. I've heard the rumors about you guys. They say Matthew joined up with you. Never thought he'd do such a thing. You never know. Yeah, so she's an acquaintance of Matthew. She'll be important a little later on. Actually, pretty soon, now that I think of it. And I did not want to go back in. She's probably wondering why I just walked back into her house and then left real quick. 
probably thinks I'm drunk or something. I don't know, but whatever. So here, here, here's where we need the toe shoes. Mina's dancing is this town's treasure. Okay. Mina! Little Mina! Okay. I've seen many a dancer in my long lifetime, but Mina is the best. Oh, yeah? Oh, aren't you Tear? I know you. You're quite famous. My name is Mina. I'm a dancer. I guess we could use a dancer. Why not? What? All right. But only if you dance with me. But you need the toe shoes, otherwise this won't work. I love this little music here. <laughs> nice. Yay! Okay. I hope they're not cheering for tear. I really don't. That would be kind of weird. I guess you're trustworthy. I can tell because we dance together. Okay. After all, I'm a pro. We'll work well together, Tear. So we get a dancer, yay! All right. Well then, I'll be going ahead to the castle. Okay, you do that. I don't think she'd make it against the monsters alone, but nonetheless. Now there's a new dancer here. La la la, I'm the world's best dancer. Okay. This girl's dancing too is the town's treasure, sort of. <laughs> uh, they're kind of bummed out, it looks like. This girl isn't bad, but Mina's the best. Yeah, well. Little Mina! Oops, old habits die hard. Yeah, well, okay. So come up here, there's one more recruitable character, but we can't recruit her just yet. This is. Es Esmeralda. Uh, oh, who is it? Have I met you before? Oh, that's right. You're the leader of the Liberation Army. You're planning to kidnap me for a ransom, aren't you? How frightening. Well, I suppose that's my fate. And it's all because of my beauty, isn't it? Yeah, whatever. Well, okay, I'll come with you. But not for free. You must show me your good faith. Let's see... I'll do as you say, if you bring me the opal... Yeah, like that soldier mentioned, you get the opal and so near presents, so we'll have to come back. And Esmeralda is completely, 100% useless in every way, basically. She does nothing for, for you, basically. <laughs> so... Yeah, but we still got a recruiter. You know, she's one of the 108 stars of destiny, after all, so... Yeah. But, I mean, you can't fight with her. She doesn't do anything. Uh, yeah. But she, but she's a star of destiny, so that's just the way it is. So let's head to uh, Recon, and uh, hopefully on the way we'll get a nameless urn. If not, I'll just have to uh, get it off screen, basically. Which is probably what I'm going to have to end up doing. But oh well. I'll probably just end it here, and then, uh, start the next episode when I get it. Ooh, maybe I'll get it here. That'd be awesome, but probably not. You know, because these guys are very douchish. And that's just how they roll. You know what I'm saying, boy? Little deadly fingertips. Yeah, so anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next action-packed episode of Sukoden, where we will have the Nameless Urn one way or another, and uh, we will go and recruit Jabba. Jabba, 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 do. And um, what else? Uh, we will uh, we'll do some other stuff. We'll find something to do. Don't worry, you know. We'll find something interesting to do. And God damn you. You bastard. Stupid needle. Ooh, maybe I'll get it here. Yeah, probably not. But yeah, we, we will do some awesome stuff next time. We'll recruit some characters and kick some ass. And oh yeah, there's a swallow attack. <laughs> Very powerful. Probably the most powerful attack we've received so far. And from a regular enemy, so that's pretty crazy. But yeah. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here after this battle, so... 
yeah. Next time we will have the nameless urn and uh, we will go to recon. It'll be some awesome stuff. So I will see you guys next time. Have yourselves a good day and uh, yeah. Later.